Ahoy mateys! Look, got the solar arch up. It's got some panels on it too, but we'll do a separate video on the panels. But I'd like to review with you what it took to make this solar arch and how sturdy this thing is. I mean, look at that. That's not moving. Well, let's sit down and go over this. All right, well guys, here's how this whole thing went together. And first of all, I gotta thank my boat neighbor, Denny, for helping me with this. Because this guy has skills. He's got the tools, he's got the skills. He, he's precise, he knows what he's doing. And had I had to do this by myself, there's no way it would have turned out this nice and this secure. So, thanks Denny. Now, how did we do all of this? Well, I made it out of what's called uh, speed rail. It's, a, it's light aluminum, but thick wall, and you can get it at most of the uh, big box stores, or you can order it online. Now, I ordered mine online. The only issue with ordering it online is that it comes ship the pipe comes in eight foot lengths and five pieces to a to a box i really needed six pieces so i wound up having to go to one of the big box stores to pick up an extra piece because i didn't want to pay i think it was 225 dollars for the um, pipe well i didn't need 10 pieces i only needed six pieces and another thing I thought when putting this together, well, how much weight am I going to add to the boat? Well, the pipe was 11 pounds. No, um, the fittings were 11 pounds. The pipe was 14 pounds. So I didn't add much weight to this thing. As far as the cross members to attach the solar panels to this, I just used... Uh, channel iron, or channel aluminum for that, and self-tapping screws. Now the speed rail, the parts, you know, the fittings will slide down over the pipe and then you use the Allen wrench and tighten them up. And they, I forget what the braking strength on that was. It was over 4,000 pounds, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. A couple of considerations when you're planning this, though know what's underneath where you're, where you're going to. For example, in the quarter berth, easy to get to everything, we drill the holes. Well, at the back of the quarter berth, there's a bulkhead. Two of the bolts are inside where the um, quarter berth is. Two of them were on the other side of that bulkhead. So I had to go down through the lazarette, around the back of the, the stern of the boat to get to those two bolts. Doable, not pleasurable. So I, you know, I could have moved this whole thing up another couple of inches. It's not that critical, uh, at least in my opinion, where I, where I place these. Another consideration is I didn't want the solar panels to stick out over the sides of the boat. So I moved the panels up a little bit. I moved the whole structure up from forward from the uh, stern of the boat about a foot and a half. Because if you look around at a lot of the other boats that have solar panels, you know, they're on a dinghy davit or they're on, on some kind of commercial um, radar arch type of thing that stick out over the stern of the boat. Well, now you've got to really be careful when you're docking. you got to be careful when you're docking anyway, but I'm talking about me. i got to really be careful that I don't bump into something. I don't want the solar panels damaged. And looking around at the other boats, the cross pieces from the verticals, they're usually, they were anywhere from 20 inches to 14 inches. So mine are 16 inches. And you can see, look at this, this is secure. I don't think this is going anywhere. The most time-consuming part of this and where the Denny's expertise really came in handy was getting the first piece set and realizing that 
there are really no flat surfaces on a boat, especially this one. Not only is the gunnel wall sloping down a little bit, but it's also sloping aft. So what we did is we took the feet, the first two bolts, the ones tight to the deck, then as we went out and the deck sloped down, what we did is took a bolt, stuck it through there, a nut, all the way and tightened it. Then came another uh, nut and a washer and then went below with the, the washer or the nut to tighten it. So that second uh, nut on there was what we used to adjust the angle of the foot. So one of them, each one was a little bit different. One of them, you know, was about like this. The other one was about like this. That's what's nice about being able to adjust the bolts like that, and or the nuts on the bolts, so that you can level them out. You know, sort of like on a, um, in, a in a parking lot. You know, you see the light post there. There's a concrete uh, piling, and then there's bolts coming up and uh, nuts, and you know, and then, then that's how they level it out, I guess. Obviously. And that's what we did here. So the first thing was getting this first post because that's where we worked off of. If we cut each post at, we cut each post at, well, we started with four feet, eight inches. Now the next one, it sloped down a little bit. That one need to be, I think, um, 410. So each, you got to start, have a, center point and work off of that is what we did and, it, and as you can see it turned out really well. Getting everything square with the level is almost impossible because we're in the water the boats moving now if it had been a windy day like today there's no way we would have been able to do it we had a pretty calm day the only issue we had is when we stepped on and off the boat or walked around you gotta wait a couple of minutes, let everything settle down, and then check your plumb. So we got all that put together. We got the first one, second, third, fourth, brought them across, and now this is another nice thing about this speed rail. Um, the 90 degree angle ones at the top, if you're off a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch, you're okay. Now if you're off more than a half inch I think you're gonna have a little bit of a problem but you can adjust those uh, the height of that a little bit and that helped us balance this. I mean when you look at the solar panels now they look pretty darn square. I mean they're they're level. And what I want to do with it now too is I'm gonna take part of that almost like to be part of my bimini I'm going to put something in between the panels because I didn't want to put them too tight to the backstay because you know that that can move a little bit. And of course, the other thing is you got to make sure that you're going to clear your boom, and you don't want them under the boom because then you've got shadows on it. So you want to have as few shadows as you can on the solar panels, and we'll go over more of that when we do the video on installing the uh, solar panels, hooking them up, and how they work. The whole cost of this for the arch was probably about 425, somewhere in there. Compared to the commercial arches, which this isn't as big, it's probably, you know, on one thing, it's a lot lighter, it's easier to work with, um, the commercial ones are probably over a hundred and some pounds and cost sixteen to twenty one hundred dollars. I mean for what I'm using this is ideal. You may want to consider this when you're putting solar panels on and just think about take your time think about where you're gonna put it how the panels are gonna stick out do some measurements, like I had taken some uh, pieces of 2 by 4 borrowed a couple of pieces, I just clamped them to the sides of the boat and got an idea of how things looked. 
and like I said, it wasn't a hard project. You just got to take your time with it and measure. It's better to cut it a little long than to have it too short. Anyway, guys, that's what there was to this. Uh, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends. And let the sun shine.